So today we are going to be doing the Pacers Note Banana Only 6, and Henry Jen been wanting me to do the Pacers for a while. I know Henry Jen definitely has, so shout out to you guys for keep uh, your persistence on commenting, and Seth Hubbard, I believe, has wanted me to do the Pacers for a while too, so we are definitely doing that today, and I do not know if there will be a video tomorrow yet. Um, tomorrow's draft day. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to produce a video tomorrow. Um, we'll just have to see how the schedule works out, but hopefully I will be able to, but I hope you guys enjoy this one. As always, enjoy. What is up, YouTube, and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Predicting the Offseason series. And long behold, we have the Indiana Pacers that are in a bunch of trouble this season. And it is time to rebuild for this team. Rebuild, rebuild, rebuild. That is definitely... Something the Pacers should look to be doing this offseason. Um, yeah, it's not looking good for Indiana. Paul George wants out. And he has no intentions of coming back. So, um, Indiana definitely needs to trade him now. And get picks for him. So, that's the first thing we're going to do. And tomorrow, draft day. I have no idea what this schedule is going to look like. I don't know if I'm going to get a morning... Uh, a video out early in the morning like I have been in the last two videos because I've been trying to get this series done I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that yet I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to upload at all I think I'm just gonna try to enjoy draft day and just take a little break I'm not sure yet I have no idea what I'm gonna do I don't know if I'm gonna mock draft out like I was wanting to do it's just I have no idea I have no idea I think the draft starts at 6 my time so like I have to I don't know and I We'll be at work and then I'll get home and then it'll be like almost time for draft and I really want to see all of it. It is a very amazing draft coming up. It's going to be exciting guys but I don't know about tomorrow yet so don't count on the video being out. Don't like you know get disappointed if there's no video but I'm going to try to get one out that's for sure. I'm not going to rule it out saying well we're not putting out a video at all. So draft lottery let's see how accurate they want to make this. Okay so this actually sucks because one of the moves I was going to do, now the 76ers have the Lakers pick. Wow. Okay, so that kind of just ruined a lot. And I'm not going to lie to you, um, but we're going to have to do something else now because I was going to try to trade Paul George to the Lakers now, but, you know, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. It does kind of suck, so might have to look elsewhere. Now, the, um, I don't... Who is the Pacers head coach? I used to, I know it used to be Frank Vogel, but I'm not sure who it was last season. I'm drawing a pl I'm drawing a blank about it. Doc Rivers is here. I'll hire Doc Rivers. Just kidding. He hates rebuild, so why would he want to come here? Um, Elijah Nelson, um, assistant coach to head coach. Um, David Weber, Daniel Weber. I don't know who this guy is, but I'll give him a contract. Daniel Weber or Doc Rivers accepts, so I guess we'll sign Doc Rivers, whatever. Um, let's go to the draft, though. So, we need to trade Paul George here. Now, if Lakers would have their pick like they're supposed to, um, I would be trading Paul George, trying to trade Paul George to Lakers right now, but that's not going to be able to happen. So, uh, fourth and fifth pick, who had the top three picks? Like, um... The Pacers should be able to get the number two pick from the Lakers if they really try to and they push it for it. But, again, the Pacers can't be too greedy because they do want to pick. I don't think Paul George's son makes sons makes a lot of sense. Um, one trade that could make some sense a little bit. Um, fourth, fifth. This sucks, man. That kind of ruined a lot. Um, you know, the Cavs have obviously been... I guess we can try for the Celtics to see, like, if they would, you know, trade for Paul George. I would be trading this for the Lakers, but whatever. You know, the Celtics do have something up their sleeve. So, what if we got Paul George, the, we trade Paul George, get the third pick back, or get the third pick, and get, um, uh, let's see, what else can we get from this team? Uh, Jalen Brown, uh, uh, what else is there? And Jay Crowder for Paul George, Jalen Brown, Jay Crowder. What if I include like um, Monte Ellis? And um, that's it. What if we do that? Monte, Paul George, Monte Ellis, um, 
the Celtics first round pick for Jalen Brown and Jay Crowder. Let's see what they say. Let's see what they say. Um, can we get the 2018 next next pick too? Uh, they do not want to do it. So, um, you know what? We're going to try for this pick. Let's see if what they say to this. They still don't want to do it. So, um, should we take Monte Ellis out and see what they say? No, they still don't want to do it. Okay, let's put Monte Ellis back in this trade, but let's add uh, a future, our 2018 first rounder for this pick. Let's see if they say it now. They still don't. Um, dang it. Um, Jay Crowder or Jalen Brown? Which one should we take out? I feel like Jay Crowder. Jalen Brown. Mont no, I do want Jay Crowder. I do want him. I do want him. I'm not going to lie. What about our 18th pick this year? They still don't want to do it. Um... Glenn Robinson, the third, Boy Allen, Kevin Seraph, and none of these guys. Okay, uh, everybody's expired. Al Jefferson or Thaddeus Young? Do you want to take Thaddeus Young from us? They still don't want to do it. So, I feel like this would be a fair trade, though. Like, um. Oh, all right, whatever. What if we take trade override on you know what honestly i'm about to turn trade override on because i feel like this is a pretty fair trade um i feel like it would be um which one do i want to take out more does jay crowder make sense more or jill and brown i feel like um jay crowder makes sense or okay you know what i'm sorry but whatever i'm turning trade override on i know people get frustrated when i do that but i'm doing it anyway because this would be a trade that could go down Definitely. I definitely see this trade going down. So we're going to go Jalen Brown, the p third pick, and then they get Paul George in return. And that's all we're going to – I guess we can throw them Monte Ellis too. I wouldn't mind doing that. Um, although I don't know how Monte Ellis would fit with their team really. So maybe we'll just do this straight up. See what they say. They say no. And we'll throw them a future 2019 first rounder or something. They still say no, but you know what? With the power of trade override on, I'm overriding it because I think that trade makes sense. I don't care what anyone has to say. So now this is what we're working with. Now this team definitely needs um, some younger talent here. We have the third pick in the draft now, which I feel like the Lake, um, the Pacers should, could be able to pry the second pick from the Lakers this offseason on draft night possibly. But we'll just have to see what goes on. I'm so excited for draft day. If you are not excited... For the draft, you are probably not a fan of the NBA. I'm just saying. And I feel like, uh, you know, Al Jefferson and Monte Ellis are going to want to be gone because, they, you know, they're veterans and they don't want to be here And if it's not a win-now situation. Um, so I feel like uh, Kings is not a win-now situation. Um, the Nuggets, Pelicans, that's terrible. The Rockets, Jared Dudley and his canter. Um, Gorgie Dang, Harkless. Huh. Get Tristan Thompson from the Cavs. Kent Blazemore, Bellinelli. And speaking of Bellinelli, dude, I already did a video over it, but crazy. Dwight Howard got traded for like a ham and cheese sandwich, dude. Like, the, like he literally got traded for nothing. I feel pretty bad for Dwight Howard, not gonna lie. Um, uh, Kenneth Fareed. I feel like Kenneth Freed would be a low-key a nice piece here. Although, I don't know if uh, the Nuggets would want to do this. Maybe they bring in some veterans around um, their guys. I don't know. I'm going to do this. I, I don't want Jameer Nelson, though. Okay, so they take it. So they get Kenneth Freed back in return. So I feel like that's a decent trade for us. Now, let's go to uh, free agency as, or NBA draft, I should say. And uh, draft a player. Let's see who, what we'll uh, be getting at the third pick this year. Let's see if we can get anything nice here. Um, we have 22 trade offers. Not going to trade the pick. I think the Pacers need to be kind of in a rebuilding mode. Um, Lonzo Ball is still here. I don't see that happening. But since they did just trade for the third pick. Um, a Jason Tatum or a Josh Jackson could definitely be here. Or if the, I mean, if they trade for the Lakers pick as well, um, Josh Jackson or Jason Tatum is going to be there. 
um, I feel like Josh Jackson can give you a, what you want a, more than or I've heard uh, Jason Tatum is more of a scorer slash shooter so I mean I don't know what's best but I'm gonna take Josh Jackson here just for oh we have the 18th pick too I forgot about that so let's send to that pick as well I almost skipped over it let's see if we can get anything decent for the 18th pick Josh Jackson out of Kansas, 6'8", 207 pounds, and he's a 78 small forward. Guys, I don't know about you, but I know I've been saying this a lot, but I am very excited for tomorrow. The draft is going to be absolutely insane. Um, I don't know, dude. Like, I, I've no, I don't know what to expect because I feel like a lot of crap's going to go down, but then I could just be overhyping it a little bit and getting myself excited for no reason like I could see myself doing. Um... I don't care what anyone says, but Frank Mason the third is going to be an absolute steal in this draft. He's going to be a steal in this draft, dude. Uh, he's not really highly rated. Uh, Luke Kennard. I've never drafted Luke Kennard. I'm going to draft Luke Kennard. Why not? But Frank Mason definitely going to be a steal in this draft. I'm telling you right now. So whoever drops Frank Mason I feel like it's gonna have a steal in their hands all right so here we are on the player options miles Turner almost forgot about him Glenn Robinson the third uh, Kevin Serafin all these guys can walk um, Lance Stevenson really should not be a free agent in this case he signed a three-year deal so going to try to resign him back Jeff Teague probably is going to be as good as gone um, yeah Need to resign Lance Stevenson. I don't know why 2K has him as a free agent all the time, but he signed a three-year deal with the Indiana Pacers. So I think um, it is in his best interest if he comes back because I don't know. I think it was like a three-year or 12 million three-year deal or something like that. So actually, I'm not going to waste my time seeing if he accepts for a while. Okay, so um, let's see what we got. We got Luke Kennard starting at shooting guard right now. Uh, we have Jay Crowder and Josh Jackson. I totally forgot that we had Jalen Brown. Now we kind of have an overload <laughs> at the small forward position. We have five small forwards. CJ Miles, like all these guys could start for us. Oh my gosh, I should have I should have thought about that. I don't know why I didn't think about that. Um, maybe Josh Jackson could play the four. Um, yeah, we're going to have to have Josh Jackson play the four, I think. Um, that's what he used to do in college anyway. So, Miles Turner, obviously the center position. Um, I'm going to trade Thaddeus Young, I think. Um, CJ Miles. Um, Glenn Robinson. CJ, I think I'm going to trade CJ Miles and Thaddeus Young. See what I can get for them. Uh, because it's just an overload at small forward. And, and uh, Thaddeus Young won't be getting very many minutes because of Josh Jackson. And Kenneth Faridis, who we just recently... Acquired so um, Terry Rozier, Jamal Crawford, Jay Crossover, Joakim Noah, Nick Young, uh, DJ Augustine, Dwight Powell. Uh, what are we trying to get? We're trying to probably probably get like a shooting guard, honestly. Um, Jay Crossover or like a backup point guard and Jared Bayless wouldn't be too bad here in Indiana. I'll take Jared Bayless, although I don't want to give you just a top three protected pick. That don't make a lot of sense. Um, can you give us this guy as well for like a project? And then I'll throw in a future 2021 pick or something like that. Except, so we get a future project in TOC or whatever his name is, TLC. Um, future project there. And Luke Kennard, so we have two nice young shooting guards. Jared Bill is probably going to be the backup. Um, and Josh Jackson is going to be starting as a four. Kenneth Freak come off the bench like he does for Indiana. So really, what we really want to do um, is uh, sign a shooting guard. Well, actually, Lance Stevenson needs to come back because he is under contract with Pacers. So really what we need is a point guard. So we have plenty of money for that. George Hill used to be in Indiana, so I don't think he'd come back here. Um... I don't know who the Pacers could really get out here that's going to want to really come to the Pacers to be their starting point guard. Uh, I don't think Chris Paul or Kyle Lowry would be interested. Um, they're probably most likely have to trade 
for a point guard. Uh, I guess I guess Jeff Teague is from Indiana, so there's a possibility he does resign, but I highly doubt it. Maybe Pacers pursue Drew Holiday or something like that. Um, a call a Darren Collison, uh, a J no Darren Williams. No, they don't make a lot of sense. So let's see what Drew Holiday does accept. Uh, I feel like the Pacers could maybe go after a guy like Drew Holiday, so I'll sign him. Why not? I do really want Lance Stevenson back, though, because he... Um, Darren Collison accepts as well, but we're not going to accept that. Um, Lance Stevenson accepts back, so that's cool. All right, so now we got three shooting guards, which is fine. I think I'm going to uh, put Luke Kennard in the rotation. And then I think we got a rotation, really. Um, if necessary, we could get a backup center. We still have like 31 million in cap space, so a lot to lot we could do with it, but not going to use it. Not going to use it. It's not necessary to use it just yet. I feel like this team could still compete a little bit. Um, I don't think it's too bad in the sense where they this would be a very trash team, but. Um, I don't know how well the Indiana Pacers could do in their offseason, but I feel like that could be their ceiling, definitely, if they were able to acquire a lot of these guys or something like that. I don't know. I definitely know George is gone. They're probably not going to make the playoffs next year unless that they, you know, maybe they sign good free agents and they trade well or whatever, but we'll just have to wait and see how well that goes for them. Uh, does Jalen Brown go up? He does. Lance Stevenson goes down one, not really understanding that. Um, let's go to training camps. Auto generate rookies. Whoops, training camps. We got three, so I'm gonna give one to Lance. I don't know why. I just want to. Um, another one to um Luke Kennard. I should not have given that to uh, Lance. I was kind of stupid. But Josh Jackson already has a nice potential, so I'm going to give this one to T O C and or T L C. I don't know why I said T O. Okay. Let's see what we got now. Nine man. I'm gonna run a nine, a niner rotation. They want to start um, to Barrett or whatever. I don't know how to say his name exactly. Lance Stevens in the rotation and Luke Kennard is being left out. It seems so. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like giving Luke Kennard some minutes. To be honest, I really do want to give Luke Kennard some minutes. So what if we run a ten man rotation in? Uh, give Luke Kennard these minutes I don't know why I just want to give him minutes because I feel like he can be uh, nice off the bench so do we we don't have a single big coming off the bench okay actually I just realized what was going on so I forgot about this whole Josh Jackson thing so Kenneth Fareed is gonna come off the bench and Jay Crowder is going to start so Jay Crowder 28 26 which is fine Josh Jackson gonna play the four uh, Kenneth Fareed is going to come off the bench, like I said. Jared Bayless, oh, okay, that works out well. Now we got Kenneth Fareed coming off the bench as a big, our big, and uh, that's nice. So that's what we're going to do. Um, don't know if we're going to stop the trade deadline just yet. We'll see how we're doing, and uh, maybe I sim through, maybe I don't. But uh, I'll see you guys towards the end of the season. Okay, so we are at the end of the season, and uh, Miles Turner with 14 Josh Jackson with 13, Drew Holiday with 12, Drew Crowder with 11, Kara Kabarit, I don't know how to say it exactly, with 9, Freed with 9, Lance Stevenson with 8, Luke Kennard with 6, so he's dishing in some points. Um, his 3 point percentage was a 38%. Um, 2 assists per game, Jalen Brown with 5 points. Um, yeah, okay, so. We are facing Cleveland Cavaliers, so GG. Um, Pacers probably might not even make the playoffs next year, as sad as it is to say, because Paul George will be gone. Patty Mills is a low-key good pickup for the Cavaliers, but um, looks like they kept everybody almost, honestly, besides they signed Patty Mills. They have everyone else. Nothing's really changed at all. Nothing. So, um, I don't know. Let's see what happens, though. We're down 1-0. As I would expect, we do even it up somehow. We are up 2-1. If we go, I was about to say, if we go up 3-1, I'm about to be done with 2K for a while. <laughs> um, let's see. Give more minutes to Luke Kennard. So, they want to take Luke Kennard. Is he beasting it up lately or something? 31 minutes for Luke Kennard? 
Okay, then. So, Luke Kennard's about to get some minutes. Let's see how he does in this game. Uh... Okay, we get eliminated. All right. Well, let's see how Luke Kennard did. Eight points and five assists. Drew Holler 13. Miles Turner 29 and 10. LeBron James obviously beasting it up over there. Oh, we lost this year, so I thought we had another game. But uh, it's whatever. So uh, we did lose. Like I said, I don't know what the schedule will be like for tomorrow. Don't be too upset if uh, there's no upload at all because I could see that being the case. But I don't know for sure. But this is... Um, like always, I was like, I was blanking out there for a second. But like always, thank you guys for your continued support. We're so close to 400. Isn't that crazy? Like, I remember saying oh, we were so close to 300 not too long ago, and now we're so close to 400. Thank you guys for your continued support. It's all because of you. My dream is coming true, and it keeps on coming true, and keeps on coming true, all because of you guys. Now, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. This is Crush Bulls, and I'm saying peace.